This is KRQE News 13 with Dick Niffing and Diane Anderson. At New Mexico Spaceport America, they tried to make history today with two unmanned launches in one day. They had to settle for one good launch and one scrub. However, spaceport managers say commercial test flights not related to the space tourism that's planned for later are needed for the facility's economic survival. Bob Martin has the story. Moog hopes its unmanned black watch will someday give troops a fully automated reconnaissance aircraft that's easy to use. A rocket motor sends it downrange where it would take pictures and glide back home. But Moog is also on a fast track. We don't want to spend a lot of time in the wind tunnel or overanalyzing the problem. We'd really rather just get out there and gather some basic principle performance data on how this thing works. Uh, copy that. Launch company Up Aerospace quickly has the aircraft on its way. Anxious to attract new business, New Mexico's Spaceport America offers companies a lot less red tape than military test ranges. It's not something that we, it has to succeed, it has to have a, a successful demonstration of anything. It's purely an engineering test. Moog plans to make future landings softer than this one so the hardware can be reused by troops. But to the engineers, the flight gives them exactly what they needed, data they can use to refine the design. Excellent results. Got through all modes, even came down near the target area. Although spaceport managers say space tourism will provide most future revenue, they hope other companies start spending more money out here. And that's the key, diversification, so we're not just banking on one. A new flight area for the Northrop Grumman Lunar Lander Challenge will see private rocket companies compete for more than a million dollars. Meanwhile, just a couple of miles away from this, their first pretty modest control center, crews are now beginning construction of a spaceport America that will be enormous. The first pad for heavy machinery is being prepared. Soon, earth-moving vehicles will stage here to start the runway and terminal. The massive facility is scheduled to be ready late next year. Bob Martin, KRQ News 13, near TRC. Boy, wouldn't it be cool to go down there and see that. As for that second launch that was planned today, a technical glitch forced its postponement.